Good morning. Morning. From Cincinnati again, of course. Mm -hmm. And we're back today, well, I'm back today at the uh, Sign Museum, the American Sign Museum here in Cincinnati. And it's Stephanie's first time here. Yep. So in the video in the description below, we're gonna put the original video we did here that shows the outside sign garden. We're already gonna check out one new sign they just added to the sign garden, and then the whole inside area. But we're back today, well, I'm back today to check out the new expansion. 20,000 additional square feet. So they doubled their size. And we're going to film this whole expansion. It's huge. Yeah, so with. yeah, if you saw the video before, you know how awesome and huge this place is. So mm -hmm. definitely, today is going to be just the expansion part and the new sign outside. And the description below will be the original part. So kind of a two video part. So be sure to check out the original one below and then check out the new expansion today. I can't wait to see it. I'm so happy that Steffi's here with me today I'm in excited. Cincinnati because now she can see the original and the expansion. I like this. Oh. The El Rancho. I want to stay there so badly. El Rancho Motel. So cool. Mm -hmm. But. Let's go check out the expansion. I can't wait to see a 20,000 square foot expansion. Let's go. Before we head inside to the new expansion, I did want to just come in here and show you this new sign they added out here in the sign garden, which is Riley's, the place for great meals. From us reading online, Riley, Riley's used to be like a chili parlor and uh, like a double-decker sandwich place. So some are probably like the skyline, from what we understand, which is the signs right there above it. But I just want to show you that real quick. So Riley's is a new sign addition out here in the sign garden. In our video description below, we did you know, the original inside part. We also showed all of this sign garden in probably a lot more detail. I'll just kind of walk through real quick so you can see it. And this part is free. So you can always come out here and just take a look at this anytime you want, nighttime, daytime, etc. But I recommend if you're down this far, definitely go inside as this place is amazing. Amazing. Let's head on inside and check out the new expansion. As we head inside to Main Street, you probably already remember how awesome this place was in our last video. There's the McDonald's sign. They have a huge McDonald's sign. And we're going to walk down Main Street because from my understanding, Main Street just extends now. And that's where the additional 20,000 extra square feet is at. This is where they do all the neon repairs. They also can make neon and everything in there. Oh wow, I can already see it. So straight ahead of us, that used to end up there. And now it just keeps on going and going and going. Look at Main Street now, so neat. This is some of the original stuff we saw before, like the Howard Johnson's, uh, ice cream, 20 flavors and restaurant and all that. I am looking forward to what's coming up ahead. There's that cool uh, theater room here where they were showing movies before. There's the Sea Beautiful Rock City. They show movies on the little projector there about the history. And almost to the expansion. This is a really interesting part from last time was this hardware store. But what's interesting about it is it's the original hardware store storefront from place downtown. So of course the bricks up top are fake. Like the neon sign, all the background, even the door and the windows and everything is all original from the actual store. I thought that was really neat. Kind of all the neon clocks there and everything. But like you can see like the the entrance door there is like uh, all kind of like damaged or dented there. That's probably all original happened from the old hardware store. But it's just neat to see the old storefront recreated here. I love how they did that. And this one right here is that advertisement clock I thought was cool. And we'll just spin your advertisements just like that. I don't remember this rabbit sign from last time. That looks really neat. And then before the expansion, or before, there's a wall over here. So there'd be like a little kid's area right here. And then there'd be a wall, and that'd be the end of it. So they've taken down the wall, which I think was about right in this area here where the kid's area was. They've added all this. Yeah, all this is brand new. So really, I believe it was about right in this area right here where we're standing. It's about where the wall was, the kid's area. It's like that windmill block. I don't remember I mean, that windmill sign. I don't remember that at all. So all this down that way is brand new. Yeah, it is. Starting with the expansion, the Jubilee Gas for Less sign looks awesome. If you look back behind us, this is the original area. But Main Street just continues now, and it looks literally like a Main Street. They've, they've done a phenomenal job once again. Look at the big moose sign. Look at that stuff. The Roslyn. A Roslyn, which one is it? Roslyn Drive-In Bakery sign. Man, it's so neat. I love how they continue the... 
I love how they compete on the storefronts, don't you? Oh, look at this. This is that windmill one. Holland Dutch Bakery. Von Mondenkamp's? Wow. I would just love to have that sign in general. 17 kinds of old uh, Dutchy coffee, Dutch coffee, 18 honestly, kinds of bread, huh? Honestly, what I think about is Dutch Bros. Oh, uh, Dutch Bros. I could really go. Hey, we like Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros, where's, really your, uh, where's your windmill sign up that spins? Look at this. It's like the old cover, it's like an old hotel, fine dining. Wow. That's so neat. There's actually the menu here, Steph. I don't know anything about this restaurant as a whole, but it's neat. What were you showing me over there, Steph? What? Oh, yeah. uh, uh, the loans store. They do loans, they do loans on livestock. Oh, where did you say that? Right here. Oh, livestock. Greenville Loan Company, Corporate Loans, Livestock, a little furniture. Oh, they've actually had like little rooms in here. Actually, someone's working in there. <laughs> so that's their offices. Minis, Credit, Fast Friendly Service, Loan Department. I have a question about the title of the museum, which is not messing on the founder. That's really cool. Todd is the founder. Oh, so this is like some of their back rooms here they just added on. That's really neat. That's a cool office to have in it. Yeah. Look at this. Loomis camera. Can we talk about and this big boy behind you? <laughs> There's a spinning Frisch's big boy. That's interesting. I love that. Leave only footprints, take only pictures. I love the neon camera in the top. You look at the top though, the flash flashes on and off. Loomis. Camera. Loomis. Yeah. Loomis camera. Kodak. I like this too. I like the old, remember the old rolls of film stuff, the 35 millimeter? Oh my gosh, yes. Get away from Look at this so bear neat. on the side. <laughs> There's the bear. Oh, I love that. And then we're going to turn back around here in a second and show you this. Frisch is big one. spinning in a circle. Look at this, y'all. That is amazing. On a hamburger, that big stuff. I don't think you can tell how big it is. Go stand next to it. Let's see how big it is compared to, okay. to the video. <laughs> Jewelry store. I love that gold and silver. It's like the gold or silver leaf in there. And the sign. And they have a neon sign up here. Look at that stuff. Huge jeweler sign. Wow. And then fine diamonds. It's like a little hallway here. It looks like a like water fountain, different offices and stuff like that. But yeah, I love the barber shop. Directly above us is a market shop, the meat market, but El Meat Market, Sunshine Beer. Just some really cool signs in here. There's the barber shop. I love like the murals on the wall. They actually had restrooms back there too. So there's restrooms up front, and now they added restrooms back here. And drugs and soda. Oh, this is cool. I love that. I just noticed something inside this little sign uh, hallway here next to the big boy. First of all, the cool Ford Motor sign, but look at the water fountain. <laughs> Such a small touch, but so cool. So there's the water fountain there spraying over to the dog to give the dog a drink. Coming back from that hallway, there's a look at the big boy again. And then look at that Farmer State Bake sign. Oh, it's temperature on one side? Oh, that's neat. And then the other side is the, the clock. That's so cool. I love the, the outside they did here. You have like the, the eagle and like looks like the marble and everything. Another fantastic job. And Steph, the bear sign was right over here, wasn't it? The Big Red Grill. And it's Johnny's. Johnny's Big Red Grill. Too bad Dad's not with us today, right? It's Johnny's Big Red Grill. Hold on, step back here a few more steps to show you the whole thing in one shot here. Such a huge sign. It's about the best I can get. Maybe a little bit more back there. We go. Johnny's Big Red Grill, East End Cafe. Such a cool sign. And tires. There's a garage right over here. Dave's Garage. Hours when we get here to when we leave. That's my kind of schedule. <laughs> Dave's Garage. So neat. R.H. Tugs Restaurant and Bar. I just love the old neon signs. They don't do like that anymore, do they, Steph? They don't, and that's why I love Route 66 and even Vegas so much. Look at the big 76 gas station ball up there for fuel. 
And we'll check that out here in one second. Right behind us is a deli. What is this one, Steph? Uh, this is Covert Delicatessen. That's neat. Even like on the inside, like sandwiches, soups to go, um, brussel, quality meats. Got like a little salad dressing sign in there. Got all the old clocks. I just love how they did the storefronts too. Like you have like the old like entryway of the tile, and they even keep like the deli, the wooden like little uh, post there. I guess is the right what I'm looking for. I just love how they keep all that it's so authentic. And then right here is the Stag Motel, the best for less. Sorry, no vacancy. Look at that sign stuff. It's amazing. I'll walk over here and we'll show what this big sign is behind us, hopefully. Vans shoes. And red goose shoes. I like the red goose. <laughs> Shoe repair. Like real buildings. Oh, they got the red goose at the top of the sign, too. <laughs> That's cool. And then, uh, real quick before we miss this sign, there's one more sign up here we couldn't see. It was right, uh, right above our head. But the Plaza Motel, sorry, no vacancy. And then this is the storefront here for Oxline Paints. Look at all the different colored neons they have showcased in here. Danger, high voltage, high low, hold, manual. There's a little house paint sign. Oh, Louis Armstrong, tonight only. The neon, that's nice. And they got some uh, interesting signs. Oh, that's a suitcase. But it's got that. That is awesome in it. What a cool uh, advertisement piece. Oh, I love these signs. I just love these too. It's like a photo frame, but that's just so, so neat. The Ioka? Ioka? I guess it's called Ioka. I'm not sure the exact, the exact pronunciation on that. But meet me on Main Street. And maybe this is where they're showing the movie at now instead of the other place. Look at this, it's got the doors. It's like a real movie theater we're walking into. Oh, look at the neons. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. So they moved the movie over here. I'll hush for one second, I'll show you all. The There's free water right here. And you could sit here and watch the movie. It explains all about everything here. And so what they did is out of that room I showed you where the projection used to be, they moved it over to here and made an actual theater room. So cool. Oh, Steph, this is so awesome. This is like a concession stand. There's actually a vent space behind it, so there's, it's actually a real concession stand, it looks like, probably for the event space. If you look down below, probably movie night, popcorn, cotton candy, jolly time popcorn. That's cool. show time, the 3D they glasses. A bar liquor concession stand, but you can see it on both sides. Let's see, we're going to go back there and show that too. Quality foods. And this is the event space we were just talking about. This would be a cool place to have an event for sure. Oh, they even got neon signs back here in the event yeah, place. Yeah, okay. Robbie's Liquors Nightclub. And they, there's another free water machine. What is that? There's the bar. There's all the event space. They could even add more tables, it looks like. And, or you could have really the kind of setup you want here. They have projectors and screens for presentations and everything. A Tot Tatine Village. Interesting. Look at this down here. Hobnob. Look, Steph, the Hobnob Coffee Bar. Coca Cola and a big old Pops neon sign. Wow. This is a lot of event space in here. This is looking back to Main Street right out here. So we'll walk right out to Main Street real quick. This is the start of the new Main Street from where they've done the expansion at. Oh, well, you even sit right there. Lenny's Bar. That's going to that little bar area we just showed you there at the uh, event space. And over here, there's some things for Lenny's. No Buster Brown shoes. This is really neat. Right next to where you go into the bar area, this is the area that we came out of, but if you're heading into there, there's a Firestone Tire and Service Center, the Miller High Life sign. They got the huge Firestone Neon sign over here. And that's the entrance to the event space right there. Look at this William Riddell signs up to date. Glass signs. 
a little street over here stuff in there. I like the old ghost sign. Kind of mural right here for soft bread for wards. Pops heating and cooling. 24 hour emergency service. Uh, it's just neat. And then over here, it's just. It's like a lot more space that way. I mean, down the road, they could always keep expanding if they wanted to. This is neat. Like a neat mural here because this is like an like actual garage door that opens here. But it looks like the street just continues on. And so if you see this, and then back to this, very similar, Nick. Very, very similar. This is how it looked in the old days. This is how they've recreated it. So it says very similar. Is that how they spelled calorie in the old days? Uh, the king size look. <laughs> calorie, C L O R Y. There's an ice cream sign. There's a closer look at it right there. Drink, get up, a king size low calorie beverage. Fresh eggs. And there's some more neons. We're just walking back through Main Street. That looks like most of the expansion. Very nice expansion, wasn't it? We'll just, yeah, I just love walking through here. It's so neat. And, they got so much more space if they want to, or adding buildings next door. They could just keep this going on forever. I think my favorite is that though, don't you? Oh, the, I didn't uh, see that one earlier. The windmill one. Oh, yeah, the moose one. I did see that earlier. It's like a moose lodge. But I think that uh, windmill sign is going to be my absolute favorite. I just love <laughs> Dutch Bros. <laughs> but I just love how it's just a rotating neon sign. I think it's gonna be my favorite one right there. I think my favorite is that um, Alcapulco Mexican one. Oh, yeah. Mexican and now this is back to the original Main Street here. That's also the original Main Street, or some of the original signs and stuff. I do think that rabbit sign is new right there. We'll just walk you all the way back through Main Street to the front of it just so you can see the whole thing. Pizza restaurant. And back up here to the uh, McDonald's sign in the front. The Zips Eats. That was the American Sign Museum expansion. And the new sign out there in the uh, sign yard out there. So I know we just showed you a little bit of the original. Be sure and check out the description below for the entire original video. We did a really in-depth review and just showed everything that the original sign had to offer. And this time, Stephanie and I got to check that out. And then we filmed a little bit of that and then went over to the expansion side. 20,000 square feet expansion, amazing. I was start with a cool thing, like they added a whole theater there, and there's a whole bunch of event space back there. Definitely have your event here, that'd be cool. And also like before that little projector room where I told you the Rock City was, that's all moved to an actual theater now. That's really cool. And the whole expansion is just amazing. $20 a person to get in. If you've been before, it's worth it to come back and see the expansion. It's worth it to come back and just see everything again. If you've never been before, you're in for a real treat. Uh, that expansion was so cool and just the whole Main Street was awesome. Just everything was, was awesome. I mean, I don't know how else to sell you. It's just awesome. All the cool neons, all the storefronts. And I love how where they started the new expansion at. You can't even tell. It's just Main Street continues down. It looks like the original section. It looks like the old Main Street has all the cool neon signs. Just everything. And that windmill sign was absolutely my favorite uh it's definitely like that little uh mexican restaurant sign quite a bit uh but it's cool to see all the stuff originally that we came here before i think that was in march april or may this may have may this year I came here my dad my brother and i came here for a reds game and came to see the museum and then um um now we're back well now i'm back and stephanie's here with me uh for the expansion so 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 cool steph loved everything about it as well i can't just say enough nice things that the staff are nice the building is super clean the restrooms are super clean everybody's always helpful if you have any questions they'll answer any questions for you about the signs everything so just again american sign museum if you're traveling through if you're in the area you have to stop and see it well worth the money cool little gift shop when you exit and the original video is down below so that being said, the nerds are, before we say out, check out the video below, you'll love it. And the nerds are, out. <laughs> <laughs>